Hello, everyone. Um, so again, um, this week is another amazing week for ChatGPT and OpenAI. Uh, they are continuously releasing uh, new features and the newest um, press release came from them about a ChatGPT plugin. It's such a new and brand new concept and I want to go over quickly with all of you what I thought about it still not live uh, they have some examples so, so let's jump into how it will work uh, the video we will go over and then we'll talk about it today i'm going to show you how you can use chat gpt to do some simple meal planning first let's head to the plugin store to install the necessary plugins next let's ask chat gpt for a restaurant recommendation on saturday a recipe for sunday the total calorie count and to order the ingredients on instacart first it's using OpenTable to find me a great restaurant for Saturday. For Sunday, it's finding me a simple recipe and it's asking Wolfram Alpha to calculate the calories. 862, great. Now let's make the shopping list. All right, all we have to do to order the ingredients is click the link. So as we see that, you know, we'll soon be able to go ahead and use a different app inside um, ChatGPT uh, since they have, you know, 100 million plus users. Um, you know, I, I see an amazing opportunity for our community, developers and both uh, business owner. So let's talk about developers. If I were you, I would continuously go ahead and look into uh, you know, uh, open AI, um, how to build, um, you know, the ChatGPT plugin uh, for my clients. And if I'm working independently, looking to this document, there are a lot of opportunity will come uh, that all these uh, people will uh, want to create their own uh, plugin uh, inside ChatGPT. So it's going to be a huge opportunity for developers. Uh, if I'm a business owner, if I am running certain app, or if I want to build some app, this is the right timing. Uh, any kind of ideas, I want to go ahead and implement it uh, sooner. So I, I think this is a great news for us from both business perspective and from developers perspective. Other two features they were talking about, this one I'm really excited about because right now, as you know, that we are not able to go ahead and um, get you know any live information on ChatGPT. And... Uh, the browser plugin demo which shows that you would be able to go ahead and you know with browsing allows the model to research real-time information beyond its training data let's see how chat gpt with browsing can help us catch up on current events websites given us an answer here with two citations. We can hover over each of the citations to see where it's sourced from. So as you can see that now um, we will be able to browse through the live uh, data. Uh, you know, there is a way of doing it in Bing, but this is much better. You don't have to go outside of ChatGPT. You can do this. So again, this is an, a really an exciting feature. And the third one, um, it came out with um, this um, code, uh, you know, interpreter. I think it is going to uh, compete with Microsoft uh, GitHub uh, Copilot, uh, but this is an amazing uh, tool for developers, and you should be able to upload some of this file. And you know, I, I am also super excited about it. Please do let us know what do you think, uh, what feature you are really looking forward, and what are your ideas. Uh, please share your feedback um, on our videos or on our forum. You can join our forum by going to buildyourai.consulting. Thank you.